I know, this is the best thing, right? You want to play with this year? Well, in a little while, I don't want to cause any trouble. You have some guests. You always cause trouble. So, yes, Darcy and Hello. Matthew, how are you? Hi. Hi. So, Cheers. are you um, always dressed so heavily? This, this is my birthday suit. Ah, because we heard it is your birthday oh, also. Happy birthday. We're going to have to do it for you too, but maybe we'll wait a little time. We're we'll having a Valentine's I, birthday party from tonight at Circus of Dreams at Bazaar. How cool is that? And and that's in Bushwick? In Bushwick, yeah. Bushwick is like the new black, right? Yeah. yeah. Everybody loves Bushwick. It's true. It's it, true. It, There's it, a lot to love. It's it's like the spot right now. Yeah. Exactly. How, how, long long have you how, how long have you guys been hanging out in Bushwick? Uh, Four years? Nine years. Okay, so before it turned so hip and crowded? Well... When people were still getting mugged? I get my little Caesar's it's, pizza in my school. Oh, okay. okay. Sorry. <laughs> I, my friends used to live about this little Caesar's pizza pizza. <laughs> Bushwick's cool, I like it. Everybody loves Bushwick. A lot of cool artists. The girl that made this shirt lives in Bushwick. Uh, Sakura. I didn't make it easy. Sakura is my friend. Yeah, she's, she's a really good friend of mine. Like, yeah, we love her. She's uh, my door girl. Okay, remember yeah, where yeah. she lived? By the Little Caesars there? He's standing yeah, there. Yeah, that the was, castle. And there was an art gallery yes, downstairs. Yes, the castle. Great oh, wow, square foot of space. And you know what? I think it's so cool that you are dressed like that because I was talking to Chelsea from my band on the way here about how I love the winter. I won so hot. I was in a t-shirt today. And I love what. The, are you outside like That's that? That's Matthew's problem. Refreshing? He Do runs you, really hot too. I was going to ask you: Have you ever jumped like in the, into like a like a cold lake in the middle of the winter? It really like rejuvenates your spirit. Have you ever tried it? Uh, polar. Polar bear. Yeah, 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 kind of like yeah. Cold. Have you Cody polar, Island. Yeah, yeah. Polar yeah. Polar yeah. Polar yeah. Polar would you do something? Have you done something like that? Yeah, yeah I did. I did it. I love it. It was great. It wakes your soul up. It wakes your soul up, yeah. I know a lot. Yeah, there are people that do that. That was dear. This year, I, I want to go to the beach in the winter. Fuck the summer. Fucking mosquitoes and all that bullshit. I love the winter, you know? You can always put more yeah. on. And you usually are sweating. Another guy, you <laughs> really, seem really like you like winter. You have to. You just need that, man. I'm ready to take He's my always shirt. sweating. Let's, let's, let's do it. Come on. Let's all go to Coney Island right now. You guys in? Let's all go. I love Coney Island. Let's swim it's a love portal. Yeah, well, so what did you Shop say here? Love Everybody's portal. birthday here. What did you say? Love, love portal? What's the love portal? And what is the love portal? It's, it's, it's awareness that the love portal already exists. That we're already reflecting love and you can't get away from it. <laughs> <laughs> you sound like this. Well. I get what you're saying. Yeah. You can't get away from love. Where were you born? Uh, New Jersey. Okay. So was he. Where were you born? Uh, Newburyport, Massachusetts. Okay. All right. So is there a love portal there too? The love portal is wherever you are where your heart is opening up. Okay. And is that what your event is about? Yes. We're all about the love portal every Wednesday at Bazaar. Okay. Every other week. And then on the alternate... Days, uh, alternate Wednesdays, our friends Wild Taurus perform, Sacred Sense Real, and High Gonzo Revival. And what does that all mean? Translate that into like, um, crazy like love portal performance for art, like awkwardness, stretch to its breaking point and beyond. It's uh, just high weirdness. But you don't look weird. You look so together and fashionable and glamorous. Don't I? Yeah. <laughs> Is that like don't judge a book? Are you are you she's, are you the She's a wet, a <laughs> wet a She is. Yeah. She yeah. just. I'm the, I'm I'm the screwball queen. Where my thing. I love that. that. Passive screwball. Passive so, screwball. Now, when did you turn screwball? Uh, I turned screwball in L. A. I had a club night there for three years called Club Screwball. My partner was uh, Don Bowles, who's the drummer in the Germs. You know? Of course. And so he's you know elder screwball. I mean, you know, younger screwball. We just had everybody in between at our night. Good for you. Good for yeah, you. Yeah. Wow. So, like, what was, like, a packed night like in L.A.? Um, what was a packed night like in L.A.? Were people walking around like Matthew Silver? Yeah, absolutely. Of like, course. This, this is why I'm so attracted that, to Matthew. That, it's like, yeah. I, my people. You when did you people. guys meet? Oh. We met oh. last, we met last Valentine's Day, yeah. Matthew. It's wow. our one year anniversary. But we met Valentine's last day. And I was John the Baptist, you yeah. know? I was trying to get people to kiss me. Yeah. Aww. He was John the Baptist Do in the kissing booth want for my to uh, kiss me? Like, in, 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 in what degree? 
Like a little kid? Just a little kid. Just a little kid. Aww. Yay, the love portal's open. Of course. I mean, come on. I'm into, oh I'm into the love portal. Yeah. I'm all about that. Yeah, I want one too. Yay. Aww. Wait, one for you. Yeah, me. I feel left out. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You too. Yeah, all good. Yeah. Love, even though Valentine's Day is not till Friday, but this is like almost Valentine's Day. You know what you're saying about the portal? I don't want to backtrack, but it's important because, like, I get what you're saying, and you know, I realized what the problem is with with things is like we are distracted by negative hate and we burn our energy on it and you, love is everywhere and you need to learn to embrace and love everything and I've noticed that like I don't see many people walking and strolling and admiring the sky and the trees and things that are just beautiful and there and free for you to love because everyone's so caught up in such bullshit you know what I mean absolutely, so, like, absolutely. You, you're basically in the portal you just have to learn to either embrace it or burn out trying to fight it, you know what I mean? And like, I've had love in a romantic way, say, not go my way and been heartbroken over bullshit before, but you realize that like that kind of shit ain't important. I'm talking on a whole nother level because like, that's because you're young again. Yeah. With people that, there's people that stick it out that, that are in relationships and they hate each other because they're afraid. What I'm trying to say is, is that you just could love to be on a fucking adventure. You know what yeah. I mean? Love is just, it's so it's all Love, it's all love yeah. takes patience. I, I'm glad. <laughs> I, my, did you ever see? I you a couple wait, days ago. Wait, here we are. Wait, wait, the time did you ever see that movie, A Walk to Remember? Uh, no. No. You didn't see it? They quote that quote that love is this and love is that and love is never this thing and never and I can never remember it but it made a lot of sense and um does anybody know that quote that quote it's Shut like up. that famous love is patient love is kind that's the one yeah. love is patient and love it's is more kind. than that don't but... back off cause you'll go blind <laughs> Woo! yeah yeah we... We think love is radical acceptance of all kinds now, of Now, how do you think that the world can all be love portaled? Love by, the, by people it. just you reminding people to boost up their awareness. It's, it's I know, but I don't understand. I just don't I understand. Think that could be because life we is have to remind each other. We're, we're constantly reminding, and now, you know, it's all this social media reminding us of other things, but. A, a good thing is we're in the present moment. The present moment is here to wake you up to I your just, full potential. I know. I, I look at it like this. Everything is what it is, and you either can love it or hate it. You know, that's what I'm trying to say. You, you can let things affect you in a negative way or a positive way. Even negative things you can learn to love right. and find something positive from. Yeah, but I have so, another question. Wait, okay, wait. my question is... I Love always like see spot. all these creative, cool people that are like-minded and believe like That's a lot of portal area, not and all school. this, and there's so many of them. And Maybe it where you confuses me that that other percentage that doesn't always see it that way is like running the world. Like, what's that about? What's, yeah, that's I don't good. understand how LA, so many LA. people, we don't get it either. so we don't get many, it so many creative people out there are constantly not giving a shit about yeah. that stuff. And yet, how do we jump that hurdle? I think you got empaths, you got apaths, and you got sociopaths. And the problem is, the sociopaths are running, are running the world, things, and the apaths are going along with it, and the empaths are too scared. And then there's and so people we're, like, oh, yeah. the yeah. so the empaths, <laughs> like, you are, I know. That's the truth, dude. <laughs> I don't think there's any more, like, revolutionary than just being for love. I, I think agree. It's the you know thing ever. Because everything Sincerity is so. Is punk. Everything is Sincerity so fucked. You gotta just have to like embrace what's going on around you and try to make a small part of an area positive. In other words, I'm yeah. saying like if you love a small group of people around you, if everybody, I think the problem is, is people try to reach too far and save the world. You can't do that anymore. You have to save your I think world. If yeah, everybody is just nice to their neighbor, people who want yeah. help. You know, you, you, can, nice. you can help and love anybody all the time. You don't have to look anywhere. Like, okay. I never ran out of people that needed help. That's true. So okay. Love your neighbor, because everybody's someone's neighbor, and if everybody loves their neighbor, then it just catches on. And even if they don't yeah. love you back, still love them. Yeah, they steal yeah. your fucking lawnmower, and they don't yeah. get back. Yeah. 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 yeah, because that's the 
ticket. I yeah. always heard that like yeah. if if it happens like that, you have to cancel it and just keep. Though once you yeah. don't let those things upset you, yeah. then never take anything personal. It's hard not to exactly. Yeah. But I think right. you know. But, 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 but like, you know, it's the sure. difference between love and like love is antithetical to capitalism. You know, you know you, the way people treat love is like it's something you're gonna obtain and then you have it and then you keep it. And that's not how it is. But that's everything. Did, yeah. you, did you ever read, hear the book or read it, The Missing Piece by no. Shel Silverstein? Oh, yeah, yeah. It's so great. It's so good. Yes. Did you ever hear that book? Oh, uh, yes. The Missing Piece? Yeah. That, that sums it all up right there. Yeah. It's about this little wheel that has a missing piece, and it looks and finds it, and looks and looks and looks. One's too small, one's too big, one's too tight, one's too this. And when he finds the perfect piece... He realizes that he can't do the things. He can't stop and smell a rose anymore, and he can't. So he lets the piece go, uh -huh. and he likes to have that missing piece. So I don't know what you said that reminded me of that, but something you said just totally did. Do you remember you what know? you said? Well, well the capitalism. 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 Well, that, okay. you know, it's a blessing and a curse. I mean, you don't yeah. want to live in a dictatorship. It's very positive, the best of where we live. You yeah, know, we but that's a life sociopaths. And there are people that are emotionalists, but don't you also feel like there's some people that are like over emotionally wanting to really stick it to you in a mm. way that's just kind of passive aggressive? There's just there's tension. Yeah. I mean, I don't really feel that. I mean, we probably don't because you know, I mean, our friends we get to pick and choose our friends, so it's not in our face. But still, just because like maybe everyone's cool in this room doesn't mean that there's other issues in the world. Like you said, bigger powers and yeah. greed and corruption, and it's. You know, they're not only are people greedy, but they don't want to see you have a nice day. Yeah, that I don't get. Yeah. No, they want to if, make the money you, and they want to see you miserable. If you make you know? your world and then you just keep trying to make it a bigger world and a bigger world, like it works. hopefully it'll just be. Like, all right, on another, another note, note, on another note, on another note, on another note, on another note. Yeah. On this show, oh. we like to ask every guest for a skeleton Can for I your closet. It question? is. It's national. What? Plum Pudding Day, and we would love to have you have a cookie and some plum pudding when you guys Are share. Are you going to tell the skeletons? Because it, uh, I have one question. One more question. Go for it. Well, I just, because you know why, I was uh, looking at some of your venues and stuff, and, and I just wanted to maybe get a chance to talk about that more. What do you guys do at your parties? What's happening? Do you, uh, are, are, is it an open invite to everybody? Uh, you know, uh, where where do your gigs at? you have anything coming up? Uh, oh, yeah, just tonight. Yeah, oh, yeah, tonight, so and every other Wednesday at Bazaar, and every other Wednesday at Bazaar, and every, then... No, every, every Wednesday at Bazaar. Every Wednesday at Bazaar is the portal. Uh, yeah. In Brooklyn, in 12 Jefferson Bazaar, Street, Bushwick, JMZ, um, Stop, Broadway Myrtle. Yeah, and then the House of Screwball also produces Tarot Society at Body okay. Actualized Center. Oh, you and this summer, right? This yeah, summer. that'll be there this Sunday. And what do you guys I read do? palms and uh, Can you do a quickie? Like, is there all kinds of cool oh, stuff going on? Oh, this, oh my God, God. this palm. Yes, uh, Old performance soul. art and interactivity. Yeah, yeah like what y'all are doing now. Big like, yeah, just, just like, yeah, feel the hands. I, I saw smart. this thing on the news. So smart. I saw this thing on the news. that to yeah. everyone, right? Yeah. So, I saw this thing yesterday on the news that um, in this country, we don't touch each other. There's so much going on here. People are always doing this. We don't She's have this been around. Like oh, we should. Man. You know? Like, it really shows up. Huh? Nice people when wow. they meet them. Great. We're very like this. Yeah. Some people. Yeah, uh, uh, a survey showed that, that yeah. a good a good nice. amount of people don't make contact with people in this country. Like, you know, like, other countries, uh, people embrace here. their friends, they hug them, they touch and them, you know, and uh, at sometimes <sighs> in some situations it's, it's uh, discomforting. I saw this thing on the news that, that this country was one of the lowest countries in a, in a t poll where people like don't make physical contact with each other. Yeah, that's what we all yeah. Yeah. Yeah, feel. Each other but it's energy. also like topless beaches yeah. are in yeah. Europe and we're yeah. all uptight. That's, yeah. so yeah. that's, that's why like, you guys are like, you bad yeah, let's, let's, you let's let's touch instead of take, you know, process. So your parties are all about kind of connecting and you have performances yeah, going on and you're doing cool stuff like the reads. It's just we, so you, you can get into you can get into something crazy at your party, all kinds of different things, right? You show up and who knows what's gonna happen. You put a weird costume or uh, um, well, no, I have to. I have good news. No costume, can I, can, am I invited? Because I have to go to Brooklyn tonight. Can I yeah, stop yeah, by? Yeah. I have to go. I have to bring my friend Jasmine, who also lived in LA. I was telling you two about each other. Um, uh, and uh, I have to bring Jasmine, so maybe we'll all come and hang out if we're invited. Please, we'll yeah, there's a dance. Valentine's birthday party. Maybe Patty Rothberg will come. 
Matthew doesn't even know, but we got a whole bunch of birthdays to party. Really? Oh, so so we need to get a skeleton from your closet yeah. so you can oh, have some club pudding. Oh, yeah. And then we're going to sing happy birthday to you, Matthew. Now you got guts on the show. Oh, you got to say something. Mm. Something your mother might not know. Like I took a dump in this guy's mailbox once because he pissed me off. That was my skeleton. Something like that, you know? <laughs> <laughs> What's your skeleton? I was a little kid. I was a bastard. Oh, uh, shit. Uh, exactly. Sorry. Um, when I was young, um, my friends, we we put somebody's loose leaf in in the sewer, uh, and she couldn't get it. Oh, that that works. That works. Yeah. Would you like some pudding? Nice. Would you like to be the first to try the plum pudding of today? Oh, I wanted to be first. That's not uh, fair. No, it's just, he's, he's just kidding. eating a piece. Just, oh, yeah, yeah, go for it. Yeah. yeah, I brought cookies to put in the pudding. Oh, sweet. Right. Whoa. Here. Good? Yeah, okay. Yay. All right, girl. Oh, God. I didn't think of anything. Did you ever get arrested? Um, oh, I recently almost got arrested. What happened? For smoking things on the street. Ah. And it was the same cop that busted my house party. Ah. And he didn't recognize me. It well, was that great. Was good. It was yeah. really great. Alright. Yeah. Just let us know that you smoke things. Alright. <laughs> uh, Would you like to try the plum pudding? Yeah. I got some oh, plum pudding. Um, check yeah. it, check it, check I don't eat this though. Okay. Yeah, just, I'm gonna yeah, you do this. You're fine. Alright, so we gotta sing happy birthday yeah. to Matthew. I'm about to roll the blunt later. Oh, oh tapioca! Tapioca. So this is banging. Right. Is this? It's it's plum pudding flavor. All right, let's wait. Happy birthday to Matthew. This, this song scares me for some reason. That's I right. have it's phobia. not to you. I have a phobia. I know. Which one my ears? All right, come on, let's no, do it. Happy birthday, Happy birthday to you. you. Happy birthday to you. I get high, I get low